The Ogre from MadOgre.com, WeTheArm.com, and Crusader Weaponry. I've got here a Glock. Wait a second. This is not a Glock. It looks Glockish, but I guarantee you there's no Glock parts in this gun at all. This is a pistol from Lone Wolf. Our friends at Lone Wolf are getting some slipstream treatment done on this Glock-like pistol. It's got uh, Lone Wolf's new frame. And you can see it imprinted here. Lone Wolf R&D LLC. How cool is that? One of the things that the Lone Wolf is doing is giving you some interchangeable back straps, which now Glock does on their Gen 4s. It's giving you a bigger uh, mag ejection, like Glock is doing on their Gen 4s. But what makes this gun here a little bit better is that you know, you're getting a little bigger beaver tail here, and you're getting a more 1911-like grip angle. Um, comparing this gun to a Gen 4, well, we see it's sporting a nice carbon fiber finish, and it feels very, very lightweight, lighter than a Gen 4, in my opinion. I might be wrong, but it seems like it. I don't have a Gen 4 here to test, so forgive me. But it's giving you a more 1911-like grip angle. So for you 1911 shooters who want to shoot a double stack and you don't want to spend a bazillion dollars on a Nighthawk or something else, Lone Wolf has you covered with a nice double stack frame that will work with your mags and everything else. That's great. Now this gun here is also sporting a Lone Wolf slide and barrel. So everything on this gun, this is all Lone Wolf. This is a not Glock or a un Glock. It's I'm I'm not even sure how we how would you describe this, Joe? It's a it's it's a Glock but not a Glock. I, I don't know. It's a Glockenheimer. It's a Glockenheimer. Yeah, it's a Glockenspiel. <laughs> but you can see custom trigger. Let's get in here a little closer. And uh, that's all really nice. The action is nice and smooth again one-handed we're unloaded so for all you safety nazis that were about to say oh you your finger on the trigger didn't clear it dudes i've cleared this gun eight million times in the last half hour so it's it is clear nice fiber optic front sight post all the bells and whistles everything about it's clean i'm going to take this apart hold on we're, since I do all this stuff live, we're just going to get clear the weapon one more time. Take that down, dry fire it, take it apart. There we go. We see inside the slide, Lone Wolf, 9mm. You see the Lone Wolf logo. And this gun here is filthy and dirty, having been shot at the uh, Masada Yub's Mag 40 class. We can see that this guy has shot it and hasn't cleaned it because we took it right from the range. And that's all good. Flip that part out because we're doing this one handed like um, a one handed monkey. That Lone Wolf barrel, uh, guys, that Lone Wolf makes a really good quality barrel. If you're looking for something aftermarket, something to maybe help your Glock, that barrel, is Lone Wolf, I, I wouldn't go with anything else. I'm dead serious. I'm not just saying that because I came to the same class with the Lone Wolf guy. No, I I would not have any other barrel in my gun, in my gun, not at all. The machining, the quality, and the detail work that these guys are doing is impressive. Just beautiful work. Normally, you're going to see a lot of tool marks in there, and on the Lone Wolf stuff, you, you just don't. It's really solid stainless steel. We're going to slip this thing up uh, with Slipstream Weapon Lube, a permanent treatment here on the inside, and make it as slick as possible. But that quality work is amazing. Let's take a look at this frame. Magwell funnel, faster reloads, interchangeable back strap, make it fit your hand better. All that good stuff that you want and nothing you don't. 
Oh, maybe there's a maybe there's a stock Glock part in here. Um, the locking block up here. Maybe that's stock. I don't know. But it doesn't look like anything else. It looks like everything else is pretty much custom stuff. But all that lone wolf goodness, custom work. Really lightweight. I can't tell you, man. This thing here doesn't weigh nothing. It is super light. I wish I had a scale that could measure something like this light. But it's it's nothing. I mean, this it doesn't weigh a thing. Very well done, lone wolf. Got to give you credit. Oh, we got a scale. Bam. The gun dock saving the day. Let's weigh this. Six and three-eighths ounces. Can you see that? Six and three-eighths ounces with an aluminum magwell phone. Can you believe that? Six oh. and three-eighths ounces? That's insane. Holy shiznit. Let's do something here. Let's weigh. Okay, it's back to zero. Let's weigh my, my phone. My phone is 6.18. So this, this frame is almost as light as my freaking little cell phone. It's just it's just a touch heavier than my cell phone. But holding it, my cell phone somehow feels heavier. My cell phone feels heavier than, than the sucker. That is amazing. That's just an amazing work. Custom trigger, all, all this stuff. Now, is this carbon? Fi I don't know if this is an actual carbon fiber frame or just dipped in a carbon fiber finish. I think it's just a finish. But you, you never, to, to, you, you guys saw it. Look at this. Look at this. 6.38 again. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fooling you. That's 6.38 ounces. Amazing. That's ridiculous. That, that's just ridiculous. No, it's not. Yeah, it didn't. it's not carbon fiber. It's 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 a carbon fiber sticker. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a it's a dip finish. It's a dip finish. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fourteen ounces on the dot. Fourteen ounces on the slide. That's that's a lightweight gun. Let's put it all together here, and we're doing this live. We're doing this all in one take here, barrel. Cause that's how we do it, you know. We're, we're not doing any magic tricks, sleight of hand, camera tricks. So full gun and function check done. So total total gun on the scale. One pound nine ounces. Okay, or one pound nine and three quarter ounces so yeah there we go that is a lightweight handgun especially for something that you could take and run competition with and be very competitive with because i saw this gun shoot today it's phenomenally accurate that's shocking lone wolf check him out online